dietitian repeat from VLCC. This anti-obesity day I pledge to contribute towards healthy weight loss. Being obesity sets a foundation for a number of health related disorders like diabetes, hypertension and other heart related problems. So today I am here to share some healthy dietary tips for the night shift workers. Repeated researches have shown that night shift workers are more prone to obesity. The main reason behind their obesity reason are their in, uh, inadequate dietary habits. So my first tip will be ki before starting their shift, one they should take their meal and it should be loaded with the protein rich foods rather than the carbohydrate rich foods. Because any of the carbohydrate rich foods like cereals, they have a relaxing and sedating effect. So protein rich foods you can include like tofu, eggs, lean meats, any legumes, pulses, etc. The next is one should be hydrated during their working hours. It will keep them alert, focused and active. So next is the caffeinated beverages. We all know that caffeine have a stimulating effect and it keeps us alert. But too much intake is also not good. So during their starting beginning shift hours, they can take one or two cups of tea or coffee. Later, they can just replace it with the fresh fruit juices, lime juice, coconut water, buttermilk or any of the soups or they can even take smoothies. Smoothies can be of any fruits or vegetables but it should be fresh. Next is any sugar or sweetened beverages intake, they should limit it because researchers have shown that during night hours, the processing of sugar is slows down, it declines. So they should limit their sugar intake. And then the next is before going to bed after completion of their shift hours, they should take any light snacks. It can be brown bread with peanut butter or fruit salad with hummus or they can take boiled eggs, hard boiled eggs, scrambled eggs or on any other protein rich foods because that will give them a sound sleep. As you know that disturbed sleep again leads to obesity because it hinders our digestive and metabolic processes. So thank you.